Broken traffic lights have been causing major disruptions for motorists on one of Kabecha's busiest roads. Traffic jams during peak hours impact the jobs of residents negatively and also cause numerous accidents on the R75. The DA conducted a site visit to a section of the road where they found no safe pedestrian crossings and hundreds of meters of damaged guardrail. Last month, five people died in a head-on collision here. This route is also used for importing and exporting services in the metro. The provincial DA chairperson Yusuf Kasim says, the lack of maintenance on this main artery impacts the economic and social factors of the city. These roads uh, are an economic imperative uh, for our city. We know that our city uh, contributes 50% of the GDP of the province. We know that the import-export component uh, that this road impacts uh, is absolutely relevant uh, to the lives of our people. And of course, this particular road, which links communities across the city, has a social impact on the lives of our people. It has not been maintained, and it has uh, thus had an impact on traffic flow. If you are here during peak traffic, you will know that the delays that are caused that impact both our uh, uh, business sector as well as our residents, uh, you know, occurs on a daily basis. And of course, if you look at the state of our guardrails, um, we, we can see just how many accidents are caused and lives that are put at risk because of the lack of maintain, maintenance that are taking place here. Residents who live near the R75 say they fear for the safety of their children. The local school is on the other side of this main artery and the learners have to cross this busy street every day to get to school. They cross anywhere along the road because there is no pedestrian crossing or bridge. So, Vandalism and copper theft is one of the main reasons for all the traffic lights to be out of order. It costs between 130,000 and 500,000 to fix a traffic light, depending on the problem. The Nelson Mandela Bay municipality says it is putting measures in place to curb the vandalism of signal boxes and cables. Kasim says this is not enough and more needs to be done to maintain the road. Yeah, so we've been driving this issue uh, for, for quite a, a period of time. Uh, my colleague Retif Orendal, who is our caucus leader here in Nelson Mandela Bay, has written, uh, after engaging with the local structures of Sandral, has written to the CEO of Sandral. Um, he has received acknowledgement, but he has not received any substantive feedback in this respect. And therefore, this oversight visit is an escalation of our action steps in order to ensure that this road, which is relevant to every single community in our city, uh, is prioritised and that this issue is uh, ex escalated. The MMC for Roads and Transport, Bradley Marie, says the DA has not yet reported the R75 matter, but as soon as they do, he will send the complaint to the Rapid Response Team for investigation. Reporting for MPK TV News, I'm Snayan Judo in Kabecha.